Hey guys, this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping in 12 Coach Training Program. And in this video, I want to give you some quick tapping. So we're going to use some tapping or emotional freedom technique to actually jump in because I've gotten so many requests from people inside the U.S., outside the U.S. who are just having a lot of fear right now of things that are happening in the world. Um, regardless of where you're from or your politics, there's just a lot of fear right now. And people keep saying, can you help us tap on that? And I want you to think about it in two levels. There's always the fear that hits us from what we see happening in the world. And then there's another side of it that is actually um, how it affects us personally and how it relates to and either reinforces something that's built into our programming at the first chakra level. So it's important to see both sides of it and know where it's resonating for something in you, either... Um, a truth that you were taught as a child that you maybe don't want to be true and wish wasn't true, but suddenly starts to feel like it was true, okay? Those are also part of our first chakra world is those early beliefs that we were taught about how we are, how the world is, and how things work, and how people are, right? That basic set of rules that we got from our family. So we're going to jump in and start using tapping on just fear, Okay, so just tap along with me. All this fear in my body. Everything I see is making me afraid. I'm feeling so fearful. And I should. Because of what's happening in the world. It's terrifying me. And I feel it all the way through my body. My nervous system is running with fear. And it's all over TV. It's all over the place. Fear and battle. And everybody else is in fear and battle too. And I feel that in my body. In my nervous system. My thoughts are racing. It's keeping me up at night. I have to worry about this. I have to think about this. All this fear in my system. And it's reminding me of something really important. It's making me think of something I learned and felt long ago. And I'm just going to honor that. Okay, and take a breath. And of course, tapping is a mind-body tool that is clinically proven to turn off the fight or flight response. And so that's why this is a perfect application of using tapping to turn down the fear. And it doesn't mean that we don't care about things anymore or that nothing bothers us. It just means that we can take our nervous system from alert, which is not a resourceful state, and actually bring it down so we are not in stress and in stress hormones all the time, okay? When we are in fear, we are in a disempowered, less resourceful state, and when we come down out of fear, we can still be outraged or concerned, but we actually come more into our bodies, we come more into our core where we have a lot more brilliance and resources. But the key thing that I added there at the end is I just want you to feel into that after just that one round of tapping. Whatever it, you are seeing in the world and whatever, however it appears from your perspective, from your country, from where you are, what is this reminding you of? What is the truth that you don't want to be true, but maybe learn from your family it's something you have to worry about or it's the way people are? Because that goes beyond what you're seeing in the world and is actually resonating at a deeper level. And so it's important to get to that too. Okay, so let's do a quick tapping on that and you can see how that goes. And hello to us from you guys from Australia. Okay, so let's jump in and tapping again. There's so much happening in the world, and it's real, but it's also reminding me of something deeply wired in me, a scary belief 
about the way things are. About whether or not I'm safe or people like me. Beliefs that I don't want to be true. Maybe things my parents taught me or things that I observed and I don't want them to be true and now it seems like they're true. These beliefs that are wired into me in my first chakra that are really getting triggered by everything happening in the world. I'm just going to own that and honor that and come down into my body where I can feel in this present moment that I am here, I am empowered, I have choice, and I am a creator. It's easy to forget that. But I am a creator. Okay, and take a breath. And so, again, just in that tapping, we voiced the difference between when we're in fear and we feel powerless, very unresourceful, and we can feel despair. And on the other side of that, on the grand shift of that, the other side of the scale is feeling like I create my life. I roll with things that happen, but I always have choices, and I am actually a creator, um, not someone who just um, is, is a victim of fate, right? And so it's important to honor that at your first chakra, there's real fear happening. For many people in the world, um, their first chakra has been very shattered. It's like, how is the world going to work now? Um, and many people have already been worrying about that for many, many years, like the world isn't working correctly. And what does that mean at a first chakra level? And really honestly allow that fear to be voiced. And that will allow us to actually shift into some more empowered places, even if it's only one or two degrees into empowerment. It's still better than just being in that fear and that place that um, feels despair and sadness and loss. Right, So I've heard from so many of you that that's where you are, and I wanted to bring you this tapping today. Of course, I'm doing a whole healing experience um, around a very similar topic around your first chakra to get you more into your most empowered place, and I'm actually going to be focusing on the side of you that is actually afraid to be seen, even when you feel like you have a lot of big goals and you want to do big things. Um, and it is a first and second chakra issue. So we'll be doing that training in a couple weeks. Make sure you watch out for that and make sure you subscribe to me here and on, on YouTube so you can always catch my videos. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.